Well, hello and welcome. Welcome back to episode two of our Journeyman Challenge Adventure series. And in this part, we are going to go over our pretty much the entirety of our season two. Now, before we start there, Here are all the signings I made. Once again, all free transfers and loan from Inter Milan. The Desio didn't really pan out here. I loaned the men blind and knew nothing about him. So he ended up going back um, earlier than expected to because he was recalled. Deep and Tima. As I went over in at the end of the last episode, his contract expired and he was interested in joining us, so we signed him. And we got him under contract for three years, and he's been a good defender for us. Simon Kozak came in as cover, although he's perfectly capable of being a starter for this team. Then we signed Yushi Shimamura who came up on our scout, scouting recommendations. A decent ball-winning midfielder, not... He's pretty much cover for the first team. In case of injuries or things like that, even though I gave him more, more starts than I anticipated I would. Daniele, uh, Daniele Chieto, also joining us from Inter on loan. And he has been good. 13 goals and 15 appearances, 7.42 average match rating, 3 goals and 3 cup games, 8.07 match rating, and he's improving. Um, we loaned in Damien or Damian Kachut from Dunaiska Streda. Primarily because he is a part of the Slo uh, Slovakian youth team, and he's got bags of pace, so could be useful, and he has been useful so far. And finally, in the January transfer window, we got our set piece specialist, Paolo Chiarion, Chiarion. Not sure, doesn't matter, but he's got very good mentals, and technically he's a solid player as well, in the position. On the transfers outside of things, Pashko left for Dunajska Streda for 115000 that was a good sale. But I wanted to leave, and he wouldn't go above 4k for asking price, so we kept it at that. Lovic, we sent out on loan. He's got, an, he's got decent potential. So, letting him develop at another club was the only sensible thing we could do, because he wouldn't have gotten enough time as a starter with our club here. And... Mikula Spakala contract expired and he was signed by Komarno. So, in terms of tactics, nothing has changed. We're still using the um, Monty Python system, but actually, no, there has been one small change which kind of happened on stream yesterday over on Twitch. So, I streamed most of the first half of the season. And at one point we were 4-0 up against a team. And it wasn't even halftime yet. So what I decided to do was to tell my guys to waste time much more often and, and to use much shorter passing. And we ended up winning that match 7-0. So from that... I copied the original tactic over and I added in much shorter passing and waste time sometimes. 
and results have been very good since then. In terms of um, in transition and out of possession instructions, nothing changed there. So it's still the same as it is in the original. But the only change was the instructions for in possession phase of play. And like I said, that was much shorter passing and waste time sometimes that were added in. And let's go over the results here. So we got a win against Partizan Bardeov to start off the season. 3 0 win. With Ikugar getting started early with the goal in the second minute and then from the penalty spot in the 45th. And Stefano Di, Di Pentima completed the scoring. Well, he scored before the penalty, but it was in the 37th minute, and the second half was largely uneventful, so that was it for that one. Then a draw against Rujom Berok, and that's what started off our skid here. So a 2-2 draw with them, following a loss to Spartak Trnava. A game in which we actually played pretty well. Then another loss to Slovan Bratislava. And this was the last game that Enoch Owusu was with us. And he scored two goals before he went back to Inter. That was followed up by a draw away at Zlaté Moravce. So 1-1 one, one draw. Oh, wait, wait, no. Owusu was still here, I think, up until... Yeah, up until that Zemplin game, which was a 7-0 that I mentioned earlier. Or actually, no. This was when Owusu left us. So right after the Zlaté Moravce game. Now, against the nice Castreda at home, a 3-2 loss. I mean, that could that one could have gone a bit better in retrospect, but that was all right with that result. 1-1 one, one draw against Jelina here it was next at the end of August. And then came an onslaught of good results. So, against the Zemplin, uh, Zemplin Mo uh, Mihalovce, 7 0. We just absolutely smashed through them. And at halftime, like I said, I decided to alter my tactic to add in much shorter passing and waste time much more often and despite that we scored four more goals in the second half then um, cup win in the first uh, round of the cup against Vranov nad Toplo which was to be expected just 4 now I think we could have scored a couple more in that one but it's all right after that we beat Shkalica 5 to 1 at home drew against Komarno 1 1 followed that up with a win away at Trenchen 2 to 1 drew against Ruzumberok again then we met up with Spartak Miava in the second round of the cup and won that two to one despite playing four of our youngsters in that match yeah and the rest of the season well it's been pretty good since mostly wins so another three no win against partizan uh, bardeov to kick off the second half of the season 
then a 4 0 win at home against Zlate Moravce, then followed by a 3 3 draw with Spartak Trnava, another win against Zlate Moravce, this time in the league, a loss to Dunajska Streda, win against Slavan Bratislava, draw against Jelina. Another big win here, but this was, actually this was the friendly round of matches right after the break. So that was just primarily for fitness, match sharpness purposes. Nothing more than that. And finally, our last match against Skalica here, 5-2 to two win away from home. Youngsters have been training very well. As you can see, most of them are excellent in trading so far same with the first team there aren't many complaints i can lodge at this group of players because they're all putting in the work now to finish off the video here We have a bit of a news item. We've been offered a job in the Polish Ekstraklasa with, with uh, Ricevlecz, hopefully I'm saying that right. And I am kind of on the fence about taking that job as much as we probably should because we can stay at a club for longer than two seasons and yes i still have about 11 months left before i actually have to move from this club but which have let are not looking good in the extra class of this year they're teetering on the brink of relegation so i could end up taking this job win the Slovakian Cup, qualify for Europa League with our current club, with Podbrzova, and then take over and go to Poland at the end of the season, only to be stuck in the Polish Fortuna League, which is the second division. So, I will need some help with deciding what to do there in particular and as always you'll be able to catch that live on twitch shortly link will be in the description so that would basically conclude this video as i will be going live in a bit so hopefully i can see you joining me there to help me make a proper decision on this one although I am leaning towards declining the job offer right now just because if they fall into the um, second league I wouldn't really want to play another season out in a second division in another, another country we are better than that as you can see So with that being said, I would like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. And I will see you live over on Twitch and back again for the next upload.